having a great day today my name is Robert Martinez and I'm coming today with a review of the 2018 Mac book air so if any further and do if that's how you say it let's get this started right about now oh so, right now guys as you guys see I have the gold version of the MacBook Air so far when I opened it it felt it felt light you know what I'm saying it's not like a light computer, like it feels like a feather. Nothing like that, but um, as of right now, the computer feels lighter compared to the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro is, I believe, three pounds. This one is 2.7. So, I mean, if you, if you carry them both next to each other, you're not really gonna feel the difference. Um, the cool thing about this gold one is people don't realize it. Like, everybody just says, oh, rose gold. That's what it is, it's not really gold. Actually, it is gold. The only thing is the shading of lights, you can actually see the different colors of it. So depending on your shade of light, you may see it in gold and depending on the other, you might see it in a rose gold. More in the dark side of light, like uh, like more of like a darker, warmer light, you're gonna see the gold color. In a brighter color, you might see the rose gold. Um, so far the computer is running quite well. I had a few tabs open actually in the Safari and it was actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, and for those knowing, I do have the basic model of the MacBook Air. My reason behind getting this one is because of school, pretty much, you know? More for school. I don't really need it for anything crazy as of right now. I'm getting started on YouTube, as you guys see. So I don't really need it for anything crazy as about now. So, as you guys may see, it looks quite fabuloso. So it looks amazing guys. Um, it's super cool because you don't actually need uh, two fingers. You just pull this up. Damn, I think it's slippery. You just pull it up and it opens. So that's a cool part about it. Um, so far, it's quite fast. So I mean, it's not, a, it's not like extremely fast where you will have like a max out MacBook Pro. But for somebody for day to day, like if you wanna go maybe check your emails, um, just do some research, some papers. It'll be good. But now, when you're when you're going to edit videos, maybe in like Final Cut Pro, um, like your basic stuff when it comes to to the video editing, it'll be fine. But once you want to add more effects into it, it won't be the best computer for it. I recommend maybe upgrading to uh, a higher model of the MacBook Pro, not the basic MacBook Pro. But the MacBook Air is pretty pretty good so far. Um, for example, you go to Safari. Let's say, um, where would I want to go? Let's say I want to go to Google, right? It's going to go pretty fast. Um, let's do a quick search, maybe. Let's see. Um, what should we search for, maybe? Um, God damn, I don't know what to search for. All right, maybe let's go to, you know, it's going to it's gonna go at a good, fast rate. It's not going to be something like the Micro Pro where everything is instant. Um, now, let's have multiple tabs open real quick. Gotta make another one. Another one. Now let's add, let's go to YouTube. Right? By the way, we're gonna go to my channel. How about that? We're gonna go to YouTube. We're gonna enter my channel. I'm gonna teach you guys how to subscribe real quick. You know? Real quick. The universe. <laughs> All right, guys, so pretty much, guys, what I recommend for this computer more if you're a college student and um, maybe doing like arts and crafts or whatever it is, I wouldn't recommend this computer. I recommend maybe you upgrading to the MacBook Pro. The MacBook Pro is meant more for that. 
when it comes for heavy work. The reason I know this is because of the area where I work. Um, you may not know, but I'm not gonna tell you where I work, obviously that's very private, but where I work, I deal with a lot of technology. So, you know, we are trained more in all aspects. So, pretty much me, I am a medical school, I'm, in, I'm a medical student in college, right? And pretty much if you're studying medicine, this will be an excellent computer for you. It runs at a very good pace. It's not slow, not extremely fast. It's just right in my opinion. Um, also, it's a retina display. The retina display is actually very, very good. Also, if you're gonna just do papers, regular work, it's all right. Now, it's also good if you wanna travel. You know, it's not a heavy computer. It's not too big. It's very easy to work with. Um, also, out of all the Macs, it's the only Macs that actually comes in uh, gold. Everything else is space gray or silver. That's about it. Um, also, guys, if you guys didn't know, this also has a Touch ID. Touch ID is actually very good. It comes very well hand, uh, hand uh, oh my gosh. It's very workable with. Instead of typing passages from a press of your finger, you're in. Also, guys, now let's say one day you wanna travel, you wanna do uh, a heavy video, right? Because it's a laptop that you have. It's good, but now if you're gonna be somebody who's gonna be doing videos constantly, you know, editing extreme videos, then this is not the one for you. Trust me, it's not. I would recommend upgrading to a, a better version, uh, a faster version, because then it's gonna take a little while for it to render, you know, put your, your whatever it is you need to do. But for day-to-day -day things, guys, is a very, very well computer. As you guys see, the speakers is uh, very, very well. I enjoy it. I mean, <clears throat> as of right now, I just got it the other day. Um, I unboxed it yesterday. I wasn't able to record the video because there was way too much people here. And I just couldn't wait to open it. But um, slowly, I will be doing more videos to this, reviewing it more in depth. So if you guys want to see part two to this, make sure to drop a comment below and let me know what you guys want me to review of it. I still have more to learn about it to see how it works uh, better. But in those aspects of day-to-day -day things, if you're not somebody in advance uh, artwork, this would be a perfect computer for you. Also, it's the only ones, like I said before, that comes and goes. Yeah, pretty much it. There's not really much to it. Also, the keep, everybody worries about the keep, like, God, oh my God. Stop crying over keyboards, bro. This keyboard, in my opinion, first time ever me owning a, a Mac, by the way. And I've used a bunch of different computers, and this one actually feels good. It's soft. Um, I think they call it the butterfly keyboard. It's not loud, like, like it's not loud at all. Like, people exaggerate on it. Like, come on, bro. However, the whole computer, you're not gonna get a computer over a keyboard? Like, come on, bro, that's, that's ridiculous. Very good computer, guys. But overall, if you guys enjoyed this video, Make sure to leave a thumbs up, guys. I will do, like I said before, a more in-depth video of this computer, review it more, but I wanna know what exactly you want me to review of it so I can show you. Also, guys, I like I said before, I am a medical student in college. I wanna bring you guys in my adventure to it. So if you guys are ready for it, let me know. Drop a like and comment below. If you guys are ready for that journey, I wanna bring you guys along in that college life of being a medical student. I'm also gonna be putting videos on how to study very uh, efficient, how to get good grades, how I maintain a 4.0 GPA in college, and much, much more. Also, guys, most of you on YouTube, so keep up with me, you know? <laughs> I'm learning, I'm slowly grinding, I'm, you know, I, I really want this. this is, I feel like this is for me. I enjoy this computer, I enjoy YouTube, and yeah, so subscribe and become part of the crew, peeps. Yeah. Like, you need to get some work. <laughs> you need to get some work <laughs> on your stroke game because your high school um, dick, no. three strokes ain't cutting it. Because I mean, oh I mean, God, you gotta really.